Hi everyone, welcome to Deco Graphics Studio. My name is David Capetti and in today's video we'll be going over this component um, that's under the curve analysis and points on curve. And so what this is going to allow us to do is basically pick a point on a curve like it basically says here. But So what we're going to do is go here to Rhino, basically just create a line and this is the line that we'll bring into Grasshopper. So I'll bring in a curve component that's going to be this default one. This one, we're going to right click. And as long as you have it selected in Rhino, you can set one curve. And now we can use this curve that we have in Rhino. And we're going to actually uh, pick a point along it. And it's going to pick it right in the center. So I'll put that in here. And so as you can see, it pick and creates that point and we can move it with this. Now I learned this from a person that I was tutoring. I did not know what this component was and I finally figured it out and I'm able to use it in an interesting way. So if you wanna see how I use it, there's a, the tutorial that I did before this one. I actually used it for that. So um, what I'm gonna show you is a simple way to, to use this one to subdivide geometry further. So I what I'm gonna do now is basically bring in a triangular grid and as you can see, it's, uh, it shows right here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger by bringing in a slider of 10 for the size. And I'm actually gonna decrease the extent so it's not so big. And we'll move this out of the way. <clears throat> okay, so now that we have this, what I want to do is I wanna pick the midpoint and each one of these cells, that way I can connect it. So what I'm gonna do is take a cell and I'm going to just pick one of the cells by doing a list item. And if you don't know how list item works, I do have another tutorial that goes over it, but basically we're gonna pick one of the cells here and we're gonna go flatten. So we just pick one of them and what I want to do is show you how it works on one. That way we can do it to all of them at the same time. So we'll take this one and we'll actually do a explode curve. What this is gonna do is basically give us three different lines. So it's gonna be this one, this one, and this one. And now we're gonna use this component and plug the segments into it. And now we see that we have basically a point that's created in the middle of each one of those. And that's gonna be what we're gonna be using for subdividing the geometry. So now that we have those points, we can basically um, take a polyline. So double click here, go to polyline, and then we can bring in this component. That's gonna allow us to plug that in but it's only going to do two so it's going to go from here to here to here and it's going to stop unless you right click here go to set boolean to true or go to parameters input if i'm not mistaken boolean toggle you can go from false to true so that's another way to do it okay so now that we basically subdivided this one we can do that same thing to all of them so instead of doing it to just one item like we did here we're actually gonna do it to everything. So we do have to make sure that we flatten everything. So we'll flatten this one coming out and we'll plug that right into the curves. And then we'll see that we basically subdivided it more and we have the ability of picking what point it subdivides it to. So that's basically what I had done in last tutorial, but this is more of a simplified one showing you specifically how this component uh, point on curve is actually what allows for you to to do this so what's interesting is that for now I'm just using a polyline but there's a way to bring in something different so let's try to do a circle right you can go ahead and create a circle by doing three points because technically we have three points in here. But here they're coming out all at once. So what we have to do is uh, break it down into your A, B, and C. 
which we have we could do by bringing in a list item once again so we go list item and this one we're gonna go one so we're gonna flatten it here flatten it here and it's already flattened there so index of zero this one we're gonna set index set integer we're gonna actually set that to one because that will be the next one and then this one set index set integer uh, two so this one's gonna be two set integer this one's gonna be one and then that one's gonna be zero that way we can plug those in and have basically a circle created there now if that's not what you want there's other ways uh, so basically this is another way instead of using polylines we can use a circle to kind of put geometries in there but if that doesn't if you don't like how that looks we can always get rid of that and there are splines that we can do so we can do an interpolated curve and then just bring in those vertices there and then we can close it so let's see here set boolean to true set boolean to true that way it kind of closes it up so that's another way to do it and if i'm not mistaken there's other one like a nerves curve which is going to be better because it'll use those as so let's go here to set boolean to true it'll actually put them inside of there so that might be a better solution for something that looks a little bit something a little bit different right so we have this one that one and then we always have that ability and if we don't like that polyline we can always take that away and do something like this where we can actually vary the pattern and so i'm going further in this tutorial kind of exploring some of these options and what we're going to going to do now is take those cells and we're actually going to do a boundary surface so we'll do a boundary surface between this cell here so we have that outside one and we're also going to create the boundary surfaces here and so we get the uh, we don't have them overlapping we can go here to solid difference and take the outside ones minus the inside ones make sure to flatten it because we have all of this information grafted so we'll flatten it here and we have those these and then we can hide that one so now we can once again press the preview outside ones with the swatch so if I'm going kind of quick, please let me know where you got stuck or something didn't make sense. That way I can um, make sure that I do a better job kind of just uh, describing everything to you guys. So let me go here to something like that. And I'll do the same thing with these two. So I'll copy that shader, bring in this geometry, and this one will turn it into like a green. And then we can take this and hide it and this is basically a script that you can do uh, not just on this pattern you can do it on other patterns but uh, like I said we always have the ability to play around with this and we could do even more things with that other pattern but uh, that's basically how you use this component and it's useful for that and it could be useful for many other things but uh, this is just one way that I found that is create some cool patterns that you could use for your designs. So, so if you like this content and you enjoyed uh, what you saw here and learned something new, make sure to subscribe and like uh, for future videos. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.